A local farm is growing fresh greens and vegetables in a pretty unlikely place in the middle of Kensington. Greens Grow Farms is teaching people how to grow their own food, and it's one way to cut down on rising food costs. Our Marcus Espinoza reports. Milkshake here is the star of the show at this urban farm in Kensington where he shows other people just how easy it is to grow your own food and be sustainable. In the dense urban landscape of Kensington lies a modest but inspired urban city farm and plant oasis. Oh, and they have a celebrity pig named Milkshake as well. We grow so many things in such a small amount of space. Olivia Gamber is the farm manager here at Greens Grow. She's responsible for all aspects of growing produce here. She says the offerings are abundant and might even surprise you. We're growing lettuce, uh, greens, spinach. That's winter, like more of the springtime stuff. We'll have corn here. We're going to do a three sisters garden with corn, squash and beans. Gamber says they're adding four new growing categories and they've had to hire additional staff to keep up with demand from customers who, affected by rising inflation, are motivated to start their own personal gardens. We have seen and are expecting an increase in interest in growing your own food. Um, Especially with the pandemic, it was a really big interest and people had that time on their hands. And we're actually really excited about it. Kyle Killian and Morgan Wallace just bought their first house. They say rising prices across the board are a main motivator for growing their own food. Interested in cultivating some kind of vegetable, something or another, <laughs> yeah. but I, we, have, uh, we kill a lot of stuff. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and don't worry if you're a newbie urban farmer. Olivia says that's totally normal and a part of the process. One of my favorite things to tell people who haven't ever grown a plant before is, you're going to kill it. It's fine. Try again. People are so worried that they're going to kill a plant. But I, I'm a farmer. My, I kill plants every day. And that was our Marcus Espinoza reporting.